Hi, it's Malia from Woman Powered Homestead, and today I'm going to be cutting into my soap that I made the other day. Um, it's actually Sunday night, because Saturday was cram-packed and I forgot about it. So, let's get cutting. First thing I do notice is there is quite a bit of soda ash along the top. Loosen up all the sides. Peel it on out. And the other thing I noticed, the side's not bad, but there are some air pockets on here from when I was plopping it in there. I did keep it in the freezer for about 24 hours, and then after that brought it out and kept it at room temperature for 48 hours because work and life got in the way. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I have a pastry cutter I got ever so long ago. I'm just going to mark that at one inch increments and try, try to cut it with this. Approximately 10 bars. Is really soft so it came off on my blade here. That's a bummer. My other loaf I did cut with a uh, wire cheese cutter and while that worked out the wire is really loose because I uh, purchased it from Amazon and they sent me a broken one it didn't come with all the parts so that one came off a little bit better it is trying to chip off here at the top kind of smash that back on it still smells very much like lavender so that did work out I think I like cutting it with a wire cutter better, kind of, because at least it doesn't fall apart like it's falling apart right now. It is not having a good time. It's flaking all apart. It's like got a nice creamy outside, but the inside is way soft.
got a buttery looking inside, but boy, is I kind of crooked on my lines here. Yeah, so that one did pretty good. So, turned out really nice. Except for the flaking. We will see how it performs here in about three weeks. Once it's all cured, see how it does as far as soaping goes. I'm assuming it made soap. So, one of my next projects I do want to try is solid shampoo bars out of goat's milk. Because goat's milk is supposed to be good for hair and skin. And we will see how that goes. Okay. Close up of the soap bars. If only you could have smell o vision. Then the soda ash on the top. Really see the soda ash. So as far as I can tell, it made soap. Uh, it's a, got a, like a creamy, I don't even know how to explain it. It's lavender, but it's a little bit more than lavender. So um, we got 10, got 10 bars here, and I think we got 10 bars inside. Um, the ones that have been drying inside are just 24 hours sliced prior to this. Um, so. They're on the same time frame. So I will see you guys next time and hopefully you can join me for more soap making later on in the season. You, everybody take care. So this is Stink Bug. He's a Nigerian dwarf buck. Approximately five years old, maybe a little bit older. She wasn't for sure how old he was because she got him from somebody else. And he was very, very pudgy. But he was successfully able to impregnate Quinn in the back. And this is a little bit, the La Mancha and Archie. Look at that Tommy. Look at that Tommy.